This video is brought to you by, AE Juice, get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, glitch animated background, logo reveal, text animation, different smooth transitions, trailer titles and many more, you can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. It's also available for Premiere Pro and After Effects. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project, you can download them from below link in the description. Now let's see how to create this wedding invitation title, create a new composition, here I will name it as, title. For this composition, we'll set time duration to, 5 seconds. Perfect. Now let's add the element file to the timeline. You can see the preview. Let's scale this element file to 50%. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this element. Let's rotate it to 180 degrees. Let's position it. You need to position it as shown. Perfect. Now let's select both the layers. Pre-compose them. Here I will name it as line. Perfect. Now here we will create duplicate of this line composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Now press S to bring up scale. Here we need to unlink the scale. Now set scale value to minus 100%. Now let's slightly adjust the position. Position it exactly as shown. Perfect. Now let's add the heart media file to the timeline. Here you need to reduce the scale value. Here I will scale it to near about 15 to 10 percent. Now adjust the position. Perfect. Now let's see the complete preview. Let's place this heart shape at distance of 10 frames. Perfect. Now select all the layers, pre-compose them. Here I will name it as elements. Perfect, now let's reduce the scale value. Slightly adjust the position. Perfect. Now let's add the text layer. Align them. Here for this text layer, I will use Trajan font family, style to regular, Let's increase the font size. 
increase the tracking value, set it to near about, 150. Perfect. Now for this text layer, let's create opacity keyframe, at 1 second, create keyframe, now at start, change opacity to, 0%. You can now place this text layer at near about 1 second or at distance of 10 to 20 frames. Now let's add the subtext. Here I will add the date. For this text layer, I will change font family to Montserrat. Select style to regular, or you can set it to light. Let's reduce the font size. Let's position this text layer. Perfect. Now we will create duplicate of the above element. Place it below the text layers. Here you can keep the element size same or reduce it. Adjust the position. Perfect. Place it at 20 frames. Let's create the opacity keyframe for subtext also. Place subtext layer at 1 second. Now you can see the complete preview. Here our title one is ready, similarly you can create multiple title compositions. Now let's see how to add the blur background video, here I will add the background video to the timeline. Now for this media file, in effects and preset, search for camera lens blur, add it to the background footage. Here we will set blur radius to, 20. Now select repeat edge pixels, now for this back. Ground footage, let's adjust the opacity, here you can set opacity according to your footage. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Here our simple wedding title is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.